love fishing the sand flats and the weed beds down here. Been doing it my whole life, and probably disappointing to see the changes that have happened here. When I was a kid, I'd I'd fish what, what I call the pockets in amongst the Posidonia weed beds. So there'd be there's acres of Posidonia weed beds, little pockets of sand, and catching things like flathead, brim, and whiting were the three big targets for me. To see the the, the amount of Posidonia that's disappeared is really, really disappointing. Posidonia meadows are vital to the health of our estuaries. Not only do their root systems secure the sand in the lake and prevent erosion, but their thick cover creates a life support system for lots of our juvenile fish. Unfortunately, however, these meadows are disappearing fast. The good news for us is that these Posidonia meadows can be restored. But in order to do so, we need all hands on deck. Following a storm or strong winds, Posidonia fragments will get dislodged and wash up on the shores of the lake. They also might be floating around in the current. What we can do, as locals of Lake Macquarie, is pick up these fragments and help give them a second chance in the meadows where they came from. If you see a Posidonia fragment, which is washed up on the banks of the lake, then pick it up and take it to one of the many storage boxes which are placed along the shores of the lake. We specifically need fragments that still have a brown, woody rhizome and roots, as these will allow the fragments to be re-anchored back into the sand. When our scientists collect the dislodged fragments, they will secure them back into the seafloor, where they'll hopefully expand back into vibrant meadows for our fish to inhabit. Every piece of Posidonia has a chance at a second life. Oh, there we go. I reckon it could be a whiting, I'm hoping so. Oh yeah, it's nice whiting. I hang around the edge of the sand and the weed beds. There we go, it's a nice whiting off the flats. Fish, just like this, rely on seagrass meadows to feed breed and seek shelter and we need your help to ensure that they are around well into the future. So get involved with Ozfish and participate in projects like this to make better habitat for even better fishing.